The Reloaded Podcast is a fictional podcast using real-life subjects. It will be offensive to overly sensitive, safe-place individuals. Trigger words or phrases will be used, and this is not a podcast for children, meaning all you motherfuckers probably under the age of 25 these days. None of the content reflects the opinions of the creators, but is a reflection of a society that has been told to shut up by the everyone gets a trophy generation. If you are easily offended, don't listen. You've been warned. Hello, legions. By legions, you mean the three to five listeners we get each week. Rome wasn't built in a day, John. True. But Caesar wasn't bitching about trannies, traffic, or poop-throwing monkeys to build an army. We all have our strengths. Mine is drinking. So what has your panties in a wad this week, Tom? What's your fucking problem? I'm trying to add another dimension by being a dick. Well, you're off to a swell start. I'm the dick, remember? Okay, I'll stick to drinking and chiming in as your fucking Cato then. You sure you're okay? Depends. Is the beer on you tonight? It can be if you stop acting like those bitches in a Snickers commercial before the Snickers. Well, beer is my Snickers, so I'm good. I'll grab the next few rounds after we get through this. Okay. Hey, we got fucking thunderstorms outside. Yeah, hopefully we don't get electrocuted. So I've noticed in all this social media crap, there are a lot of people that use the internet as their personal dumping ground for all their bullshit. Oh, yeah, people have lost their fucking minds. Social media has become like a drunken session with your shrink, except you spray-painted your issues all over the fucking wall, and you don't have one shrink, you have 50. Who all need a fucking shrink? Not like we're not sitting here fucking bitching and complaining, but anyway, everyone on Facebook is an expert. You have the It's All About Me posters laying their fucking craziness all over the place for their crazy friends to answer. Even if one in a hundred has good advice, it just turns into a big thread of fucking arguments over, quote, this solution will not work, and you don't understand me. People are very self-centered, Dom. Everyone is somewhat self-centered. The difference is some of us go to the fucking bar, drown our pathetic lives into a brew or two, instead of looking for a friggin' pity party via the internet. So where's this going, Tommy? I'm glad you asked. Just like those crazy headlines we read, I've got prime examples of batshit nuts. Posts we can make fun of. Sounds like a good time. Oh, it will be. Listen to this slutty bitch. Keep in mind, she's a 300-pound black woman, apparently being picky about the love she's looking for. It reads, quote, I'm like a cast iron skillet. You have to warm me up before you put meat into me. You just found a new hobby, didn't you? Trolling. I don't even have to on some of these. My favorite response was this one. Quote, you mean blacker than a struck match? Heavy and hard to handle? (laughs) Oh shit, that is funny. Do another. Do another one. I told you this shit was funny. This other app is some anonymous site where whores go to meet horny dudes. She writes, quote, whisper turns everyone into a slut or whore. What site is that? Whisper? I don't fucking know. Anyway, my response was, probably fucking anything that will stick their dick into you is what makes you a slut. Charging money for doing the same shit is what makes you a whore. But a free app is probably not to blame for spreading your nasty legs for anything with a hot beat. Look at you burning that slut. Now you're in the spirit, John. It's like the holidays, but we're stupid people. This one says, and I quote, I wish we could choose a baby's father. Wow, that is stupid, that hurts. The number one response was, someone tell her before I do because I'm gonna hurt her feelings. <laughs> now, I'm not exactly a smart dude, but just like I used to watch the news to make me feel better about my life, I think I'm gonna start watching people on the internet to feel smarter. Okay, I don't know if you remember who Emma Gonzalez was. Ah, uh, no, doesn't ring a bell. After the Parkland shooting, she's one of those teens who started telling all us adults what to do and bitching about the Second Amendment. Oh yeah, that hog kid was as annoying as a bad case of hemorrhoids after a swampy ass shit. That's putting it mildly. It's she saw and irritating. Anyway, continue. This nutty bitch says, quote, You have five seconds to tell me one thing you've done in your life that was even one-tenth as brave as Emma Gonzalez. 
on any given day. Well, you almost had sex with a tranny. Fuck you, John. But that was my response. This dude won the internet that day. His response was, quote, When I was a kid, I started taking a shit in a public pool. And when the dude working there saw me, I continued to shit in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Exhibit F has this chick all into her selfie while saying, Who says brown eyes aren't cute? Their response, Hitler. And speaking of fucking Hitler, this one takes the cake as some of the dumbest shit I've ever read. The fact that you read a bunch is amazing. How much dumb shit you probably read to get to this moment in your life may be monumental. I think I should say thanks, but here we go. While this one might not necessarily be funny, it is world-class fucking stupid. This person said, quote, Allowing police to patrol in LGBTQ pride is like having a march for Holocaust survivors and asking people to be okay with allowing people to march in Nazi uniforms. Holy shit, there is so much wrong with that. As I will state, first, I will say, I don't care what your sexual preference is as long as you ain't diddling me with it. I actually enjoy hot lesbian action. That being said, how fucking retarded is this bitch? I would probably venture to say fully. Number one, she's comparing police to Nazis. And the parade of lesbian, gays, queers, trannies, and bi's to Holocaust survivors. Number one, the police are not diverting the pride parade into trains where they'll put them in ovens or gas chambers. B. Okay, so let's tell all the cops to stay away. So when a real anti-gay group starts throwing dildos, knocking people out, maybe you can call the local fucking crack addict to defend the parade. Morons. And three. How fucking insulting is it that not only the police officers, whom some out there may be gay, comparing the plight to the modern day gay insert gender here person, to fucking Holocaust survivors. I'm sorry sir, you're just a Holocaust survivor. I know you endured freezing, starvation, weird fucking experiments. We can put at the same level that some of the gay people were called faggot, can't get married in a few states, and possibly a few cases have been threatened with an ass beaten. And not the good kind. All my so-called jokes and bullshit aside, last but not least, this fucking post has a rainbow flag, which is all about inclusion and that shit, right? I guess. So they don't want the cops there. I've seen this before in other requests and posts, people just being anti-cop. And I'm not talking about the whole gay community here, but I have seen posts. I'm fucking calling bullshit. This is supposed to be about inclusion, but they're fucking pushing people away from these parades. Fucking assets. Wow. This show just got a little dark, Tom. But you're right. Not sure this particular member of the LGBTQRZ really thought this shit through. I mean, I love the homos. Not in a gay way or anything. But they're cool. All right. I think we went a bit long today. But we're going to have to do this again soon. Sure thing, Tom. I'll start looking for some crazy shit, probably while on the early stages of a bender. All right, you fucktards. We'll see you next episode. I feel like we're leaving on a little bit of a downer, Tom. All right, I'll leave you with this tweet. Quote, Why don't women ever have to take a DNA test to see if the baby is theirs? Shake my head. <laughs> Shake my head is right. We are living in fucking stupidville, Tommy. Later, fuckers. A <laughs> DNA test. You fucking moron. Like what you just heard, please subscribe to Reloaded, the Boston Brood Podcast. And go ahead and share that thing. Spread it around like herpes. <laughs>